Hello, my marvelous muses. How are we doing tonight, guys? So, I don't know what happened to last night's video. I went to edit it and realized there was no ending to the video. And I I pushed record, but my I know it shut off at one point. So that must have been when it did it. I don't know. But uh, the cat one didn't turn out very great. But here's a multicolored one. And I ended up putting some of this... Uh, chunky glitter in with like seashells and stuff inside and it kind of stayed separate we got a little bit of the blue at the bottom um what was it blue red pink and then i did the bottom here top i got on straight on this one but yeah they're cute little bottles and like i said you could pour them in any colors you wanted you could do put anything in them that you want i know a lot of you agreed with me and was like no not with the liquid um, like I said, I've had other shakers. I had a wine glass, and I, that was my whole key. I was going to make my friend a wine wine glass keychain that was liquid. I would put red liquid in it. And I, it took forever to finally get it to work. I bet I tried three or four times before I finally got it to work. But then turned around, and when she was using it, of course, as a keychain, bump it up against things, drop it, whatever, lay it down. And eventually it started leaking. So I wasn't a fan. I was like, nope, I'm good. So, and I tried with other things as well, and didn't have much success with those. I said they last for a while, but if anybody was actually using the item, you know, it was a different story. But yeah, I think they turned out super cute. Super, super cute. So, I appreciate you guys wanting to see them. I, I love them. I think they're so cute. So, tonight we are going to do, tonight's Throwback Thursday. I'm sure you can see my beautiful jellyfish mold. Which I absolutely love this mold. I love this mold so much. And almost as much as I love this mold, I love glitter. So tonight, we're going to do this with strictly glitter. And then we'll pour over the back of it once we get it set. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it in layers. I'm going to do kind of an ombre. And we're going to do yellow. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do the yellow, orange, and red. Yeah, I think I'm going to do yellow, orange, and red. And we're going to kind of make a flame jellyfish. And it's going to be with nothing but glitter and resin. So, we're going to pour lightly into each of these areas and let them cure. And as long as I don't go crazy with the pouring they won't run into each other a lot so like I can fill this area pretty decent amount with the yellow glitter and then as long as I don't fill it up to here it's not going to run into here so then I can do the orange and as long as I don't go crazy with the orange and make it run way off the side and just kind of fill in these little things here I don't know. I'm trying to decide the best way to do this. If I should start with the red. I feel like I should start with the red. Down here. Then do the orange. Then the yellow. And like I said, I'm going to do a thin layer. And then I'll come back through and do another layer on top of that. A final one. Maybe. I think that's how we're going to do this. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. Alright, I'm going to put you guys on a pause right quick. I'm going to mix up some resin and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. So, we're going to start with the red. And, uh, I mixed up just a little bit less of the, put a little bit less in each one of these little cups here. I've got them in little cups. And I mixed up just a little, I mean, I put a little bit less in the cup for the orange, because, of course, the orange doesn't have as big an area. I do have a little bit of resin over here, so if I need to add more to an area, I can. But I've got my resin here. So let's move him out of the way while we mix the colors. So I have holographic red medium. And we're going to just... That's all this is going to be, guys, is glitter and resin. 
things that make me most happiest in life. Okay, that's not working. Give me a spoon. We want to heavy glitter this. There we go. Yeah, that's what we call glitter, right? <laughs> Here, let me turn on the flash so you guys can see better. There you go. Let's do one more. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at this, guys. Oh, my word. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so that's good right at the moment. Alright, so now, I'm going to bring the orange out here. Let's get this over here. Are we in camera here? Yep, we're in camera. Alright. Y'all already know I love this color. And let's do... Three. I don't have another better orange. I was looking for something a little more red orange, but I really don't have a good red orange. So, blood orange is the closest we're getting. And to me, it's kind of a coppery orange. Oh, look at these colors, guys. All right. And now, last but not least, we have our yellow. Yep. We don't want to contaminate the yellow, so let's wipe this spoon off here. And this is Lemonade Medium Chunky. And all of these glitters came from April. Thank you again, April. Glitter makes everything better. My grandson's sneezing. Bless you, Cody. He probably can't hear me. He's probably got his headphones on. I feel we're going to need more of this yellow because that's a pretty big area here to fill for that. Move these others here. Let's move them over here out of the way. We'll move this out of the way right quick. There we go. Alright. We got you in camera here? Yes, we do. Alright, so we're going to pour the red first. There we go. We're going to pull this back up here. Alright, let's put... Let me find something to sit underneath it here. That's about the right height. Here we go, and we'll sit this under it. Nope, that's going to be too much, probably. 
Uh, here, let's try this. That's probably going to be too much too. There we go. I don't want it that much though. I don't want it to... There we go. Maybe. Maybe. What are we thinking? I think it's coming along pretty good here. I said, we'll come back in, we'll do another coat over the back of these. All right. Okay, so we got that one. Maybe, hang on. Uh, probably not, because it's chunky glitter. I guess that little bit's not going to matter if we're trying to do an ombre, huh? Because it's like, it's going to be hard to get out. Now, we're going to pour this into here. So that's going to go into the red. Alright, let's drop it down a little bit here. There we go. I don't know if 
this is all going to stay separated or if it's going to end up blending together. But we, like I said, we want to kind of ombre it anyway. All right. Center here. All right, and here we go with the yellow. it over the back. All right, now we're going to pull this back out a little bit more. And then I'm going to use the rest of the resin and we're going to add some more yellow to it. And I'm going to drop it the rest of the way down. I think it's going to pretty much stay separated at this point. All right. Now we're going to add some more yellow. Alright, what do we think so far, guys? Let's see how we get here. I'm going to bring this back a little bit. I need a little bit more orange here. My orange kind of got lost. My yellow should be more prominent from the other side than the orange because my yellow is a chunky glitter and it's going to sink faster than that. Fine. So, at least that's how I feel anyway. I don't know. I feel like the heavier the glitter, the faster it's going to sink. So, we're going to let this cure enough that I can pour another layer on it and then I think I'm just going to come back in with clear if this turns out nice when it's done I'm just going to pour a layer of clear over the top of it because the other side is going to be the front I don't know I might even no I don't want to do black because that will make my yellow turn green so no I'm going to just do clear over the back of it and we'll see how she looks alright guys we'll be back in a little bit bye hello my marvelous muses how we doing guys so we're back I'm ready to pour the next layer uh, I mixed up four, four, ounce, four more ounces. First time I made four ounces. I didn't, I don't think I told you guys that. No, actually I made six. Sorry, I made six ounces the first time. And four this time. I don't know if it's going to completely fill it, but it's going to fill it enough. We'll be all right. Pretty sure it will. But we'll see. Uh, the first resin I used was the Nick Pro. 
Uh, but this time I'm going to use the 4 hour J diction because I want to be able to demold this shortly. And this has been sitting. I'm going to put my curing machine on it so they'll both be cured in about the same length of time this way. Just going to do clear on the back. It's not full enough. Yeah, it's not full enough. I need another, at least another two or three ounces. Yeah, I'm going to mix up a couple more ounces, guys. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I'm looking at this now. I don't think it needed as much as I thought it did. Because it's clear that I'm sitting on it. I do need more down here than I thought. So yeah, to fill it up right, I needed about four ounces here. So the whole thing here took eight and six, 14 ounces to completely fill this to the top. Completely fill it to the top. All right. Got some bubbles where on the back side here, but I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, this is the back side, just going to hang on the wall. If I really wanted to cover it up, I could even put a piece of felt or a piece of foam backing on it or something. But yeah, we'll see how it does now. I'm excited. All right, see you guys in a couple hours. Hi. Hey guys, we're back. So it's ready to demold here. So let's just take it out this way. We're just going to demold all the little. What are they called on them? Jellyfish. They're not tentacles, are they? No. Tendrils? I don't know what they're called. I'm going to have to Google that now. And figure out what they are called. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Isn't this cool, guys? Wow. Can you see the yellow, red, and orange? It stayed fairly separate. I've got a little bit of orange up here, which is fine, because, and a little bit of red here. Oh my gosh, guys, that is beautiful. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. I missed a couple over here on these sides. Where I put the orange in, I didn't go high enough up. But I think it's still gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I love this mold. I really do. Wow. Alright guys, well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, why not? We make, what are we going to call him? Fiery jellyfish.
kind of what he looks like, a fiery jellyfish. I've heard jellyfish stings hurt fairly well. Burn. So, it's because they're fiery. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. Appreciate all the new subscribers, guys. Everybody that's coming in, checking out the channel and everything. I appreciate y'all being here. We show everything, good, bad, and ugly. It does not matter. And my fails are so you don't have to. So we learn from my mistakes. We try again. If I fail on something, you can better believe there's going to be another another go around at it. Because I will try until I succeed or till I get so aggravated with it I don't even want to try it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I really, really like how this turned out. So I hope everyone has a wonderful night. I hope your resin cures beautifully. I hope your craft projects turn out amazing. I hope you are happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.